She did one thing absolutely for her children. Mm -hmm. She didn't teach them about an awful lot. She was an absent mother. She mm -hmm. was an inconsistent nurturer. Mm -hmm. She brought freedom to her children. Mm -hmm. That is, she brought her children to, mm -hmm. to freedom. Mm -hmm. she, she found a way to get her children mm -hmm. to the North. Mm -hmm. And that I consider a great mm -hmm. gift. I, I think these are unsung mm -hmm. characters uh, in this novel and and that's for so very many reasons mm -hmm. just like so many of the of the women like Alana's uh, Fannie Lou Hamer mm -hmm. isn't that your wasn't yes, that your yeah. model mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. was not mm -hmm. necessary seen on the forefront as mm -hmm. were many men because we are a sexist society mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. we're a racist society but, but also a sexist society and and I think what she did in bringing freedom to her children was the greatest mm -hmm. gift she could have mm -hmm. given them mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to take too much time no, before and, I, but and, and, and I think that there's another thing about and, and that uh, our audience might not know about you is that uh, you knew uh, personally uh, Dr. Martin Luther King I did and I think one of the things problems that one of the uh, uh, stories that we always try to elicit from individuals who visit us is uh, the assassination of Dr. King yes. because I think that I overheard you make some statements in reference to that yes. and I think we've got about two and a half minutes or three minutes before we end the show for today and let's end it not talking about a, a courageous woman but about a courageous man and about how he uh, Dr. King was taken from. give us your relationship oh, with Dr. King and his assassination and the impact that it had upon you over the next uh, two minutes. My, uh, my, my father's work that brought us from Atlanta to, um, to Nashville was with the Methodist Board of Higher Education. As such, he worked with the uh, historically black Methodist-affiliated mm -hmm. schools, including my now Clark University, but then Clark mm -hmm. College, uh, when, when I was there. And as such, um, he um, it was able to I introduce us to uh, Dr. King and through my relationship with uh, Dr. Joseph Lowry's daughter, who was my roommate at Clark, uh, there were uh, other uh, opportunities for me to uh, even be a guest in their home. It was, it was, I, I was as, as inspired as any college student upon meeting Dr. Martin Luther King. It was an incredible experience to hear him speak, whether in his kitchen at home mm -hmm. over greens and fried chicken, mm -hmm. I'll never forget that, mm -hmm. or, or at Ebenezer Baptist Church, or um, uh, later at my father's work in, mm -hmm. in um, Iowa. Um, I was, um, I was um, a, uh, a, a junior in college, spending my junior year in France, mm -hmm. and I was visiting my uh, roommate, um, uh, who was spending her junior year in Spain, mm -hmm. and I was on a train. Uh, it was a 24-hour ride uh, to Valencia, so I didn't hear any news. I didn't hear any radio. I didn't know anything, and this was April the 3rd, mm -hmm. 1968. When I got uh, off the train... Um, One minute. Mm -hmm. uh, her mm -hmm. roommate informed my, my, my roommate's Spanish roommate informed me that Dr. King... Uh, had been assassinated. Um, I can't tell you what went through my mind, only that I roamed the streets mm -hmm. of Valencia all day when I called my parents in great, mm -hmm. great, great distress. I said, I've got to come home. What am I doing here in France? I need to be on the forefront of the front lines. I need to be marching. I need to be mm -hmm. stopping this insanity. And my parents listened to it very carefully and they said, honey, you know, you knew Dr. King. Mm -hmm. What would he advise you to mm -hmm. do? Mm -hmm. That stopped me in my tracks mm -hmm. because I knew he would want me to continue my education. And especially to continue a book like you've uh, presented to us. I uh, will continue morning, to Kelly. write. And let me thank you for all of that information that you've given us. Thank uh, you. Uh, about uh, not only African American History Month, but about women in uh, African American history. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.